Hey everybody, we're gonna create a linear pattern uh, today. We're also gonna create um, a rectangular pattern. So if I wanna make a linear or rectangular pattern, I'm gonna use the same tool. Um, I'm gonna choose this tool right here called linear pattern. And um, if I were to choose, for instance, the just the sides of this hexagon, and I want to move this whole hexagon over to, you know, and make multiple copies of it basically, then that'll work. The problem is, I don't know if you noticed this, but over here on the side, that's where um, the it's, it's pulling from that point right there instead of from somewhere else. So if I don't want that to happen, then I need to actually make the circle be my selection. So I'm gonna choose that linear pattern. I'm gonna choose the circle. And now it's gonna go from the center instead of from this point that's on the left-hand side. So I can, uh, right, now that I've selected that object, I'm going to select the difference or the distance between the objects. So now it's set to two inches between each object. And I can also set the number of objects that I want to have. So maybe I want four objects. I can also set how many rows of this that I want. So if I want more than just one row of it, I can set out two row. This makes it a rectangular pattern and set that up. And then uh, once I'm done, I think I've set everything up, I'm gonna just tap one more time outside of it and then it'll create the linear pattern or a rectangular.